So what's going on guys, it's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having a really, really good day. If you're not, hopefully this video improves it because I'm going to get you better at FIFA. Well, I'll try to anyway. So today we're going to be talking about the best formation. It's not this one on the screen right now, I will change it. Uh, but yeah, I think this will definitely help you out because it is, in my opinion, the most overpowered formation after all the patches. But before we get into this video, guys, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And yeah, I would just really appreciate that. So, what is this formation, you may ask? Well, it is in fact, let me find it. Da -da -da. Well, there it is. Wait. Yeah, the 41212 narrow. Now you're probably wondering, how am I gonna fit wingers into this team? Well you you don't. Not 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 like that. You you start in a um 4321 mostly. It will probably help you if you have wingers. And then you switch to a 41212. But what we're gonna be talking about is the uh, instructions and custom tactics and why this formation is the best. So You'll switch to this in the game. My team looks a bit like this. Let me just uh, fix it up. There you go. That's what mine looks like in game. Uh, the reason we don't start it like this is because not everybody's on full chem, as you can see. So you don't want to start it like that. But why the 41212 narrow? Well, as you all probably know, narrow formations are predominantly the best in FIFA, and they have been for a couple of years. And it's just because. Most of the action seems to happen down the middle of the pitch since crossing hasn't been this good. Uh, you, you have pacey players so you don't need to cross in the ball. It's just easier to work your way through the middle because it's easier to gain control of the pitch. So narrow formations are the best and this is probably the most narrow of all formations in the game. Now what makes this formation so good is you have a CDM. So it's, it's, you have a player which is always going to be in front of your back line, protecting them, winning the ball back, running back, getting them from behind, like, you know, intercepting the ball, that kind of stuff. So it's really useful to have that. And then you have two center mids, which um, the best type of center mids are the ones which are well-rounded in this formation. So we have Vidal and Laurent Blanc. I know some of you might not be able to afford them, so you get players like Goretzka, Tolisso, you know, uh, Paulinho, well-rounded players in that centre mid spot, so you can basically you want them to be able to do most things. So you've got Vidal's got pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, and physical. The same with Blanc, they've got everything. That's what you want. So they can shoot, they can defend, they can run, they can pass. That's what you want. Um, so this formation is very easy to work the ball up the pitch, I find, because you've got your CDM which can distribute it in three different ways. And then when you do get it up to your cam or to your CMs, there's not just one strike you're aiming for, there's two. So it basically splits up their defense and it's harder for them to manage two strikers than one, which is why this formation is so good. So this formation is good because it's very well rounded as a whole. The only thing it does lack is a bit of width, which is useful sometimes, which is why when I explain the player instructions, you'll see why that's not too much of an issue. But yeah, this formation is by far one of the best after the patch, well I've found anyway. I used to rock the 4 2 3 one, but it's too defensive for my liking. So this has a nice balance of attack and defense, which is what you want. You know, you can do fast build up play, you can do it slow. You can ping cross up if you want. It, it's very varied. You can use it how you like, which is what I like about this formation. There's not just one way to play. So, moving on to the player instructions in this formation. What do you want to do? You want to leave your left back and right back on balanced attack. Now, last year, I wouldn't have suggested this. But the reason I'm suggesting it this year is because they seem to be better programmed. Like, programmed better. Um, so like even if they're on balanced attack that doesn't mean all out attack that doesn't mean they're gonna hang in the opponent's box what it actually means this year is like they will attack but they will come back automatically on defense if you lose the ball they won't just stand there and leave your center backs exposed at the back they will run back which is what I find useful so last year they wouldn't do that so we always had to have it on stay back while attacking which you know it, it kind of took a lot of the variation out in this formation so having it on balanced attack gives you this extra width in the formation you know you've got your left back and right back always coming down the flanks so like what you'll find is players will try and uh, 
block off your passes down the middle a lot like it's what people do so when they do that you can you can pretty much always find space down the right or the left because of your fullbacks and you know spread their team out and it's just easier to pick passes that way while well, I find it easier so yeah I suggest balanced attack on your fullbacks now on your CDM which I'm using Bakayoko I suggest stay back while attacking because if you've got a CDM which is just a rock, which is what you want your CDM to be, like Bakayoko, um, they're not really useful going forward anyway, like they don't really offer much and it's always nice to have that extra bit of support at the back so you can see less goals. Bakayoko intercepts a lot of balls for me, he, he tackles, he's basically the engine in my team, he runs everywhere, I, I really like him for that. Um, you want your CDM to be like six foot as well so they can win their headers. Well, you, you might not. I just prefer it like that. That's why I have him instead of Kante. But you want your CDM to stay back because that's what CDM should do. They should, you know, they should give you a sense of security in your team, which is why uh, this formation is good as well. So we've got a nice CDM there to stay back. But other than that, I leave the CDM alone. Moving on to the center mids, I don't touch them. I think they're fine because... Like I said, my centre mids are all-round players, so I don't necessarily want them to stay back, and I don't necessarily want them to stay forward. I want them to do a bit of both, which is what they do. So I just like to leave this as they can do a bit of attacking and defending, which I find really useful. Now, moving on to the uh, cam, which we have Bale here, I prefer to keep them staying forward. Now, the reason I like this is because... Um, if you're if you're being put under a lot of pressure, and they're they're like pinning you in your box, if you have your cam to stay up along with your strikers, it's really easy to then get the ball up the pitch because if you just had your two strikers there, you have to ping a, like a massive long pass that that will often just get intercepted and you'll be put back under pressure. So having the cam, you can make a nice short pass, turn with him, and then play in your strikers and hence the whole team. Um, yeah, that's why I like to have my cam stay forward because it's really useful on the counter-attack and stops you being pinned back too much. Um, moving on to the strikers, I like to have them get in behind and press back line. What this will do is it will make them uh, get... It, it literally does what it says. It will make your uh, strikers try and make runs off the shoulders of defenders. You know, if you play a through ball, they'll be ready to run onto it behind them, you know, run around them, that kind of stuff. So this is definitely useful with pacey players. And the press back line means they're going to put pressure on the defense and maybe get you some lucky interceptions. And it also stops them passing it around the back so much, which is what I like. So like I said, we have the same for Anthony Martial. Uh, getting behind and press back line and that's what we have for our instructions that's what I use it's what I've been using for the past couple of weeks um, yeah that's what we have for player instructions now for custom tactics this is what I like to run I've shown this in my other video but in case you didn't see that I'm going to show you them now we like to have our speed on 50 because it's nice and balanced which is what I said I like about this formation it's a very balanced formation and we also like to have the passing on 50 so nothing's too rushed and nothing's too slow it's a perfect balance I find now as for chance creation I like to have this on 50 for passing 40 for crossing and 70 for shooting the reason I said passing on 50 is because it's like the thing we use the most you want it to be balanced you want to be able to go fast and slow so you want to you want to have that nice balance uh, we have crossing below 50 because since this is a narrow formation you're not really going to get into crossing positions that often and even if you do you haven't got the biggest of strikers so I don't find it that useful I don't really want my players getting into them positions because it's not very useful in my opinion especially not in this formation if you had uh, a wide formation like the 4-3-3 then maybe because you know your players are gonna get down the wings they're gonna be able to cross you're, you're more than likely gonna have a big striker to win headers but in this formation you don't which is why we have it on 40 uh, for shooting we have it on 70 now the reason we have it on 70 is because on foot champions it's very difficult to break people down and I explained this the other video but when you have people sitting back in the 4-2-3-1 formation, which happens quite a lot, you saw me do it the other video, and I know people don't like it, but it is an effective way to see out games. 
if you have this on 70 it increases like the movement in your players like they'll move around they'll get into these dangerous positions where it's hard for them to defend it um, and yeah you can quite often score easy chances because your players are making nice runs now that's why I have it on 70 because you know it just makes it easier to attack um, we have this on free form not organized because in the final third you want your forwards and your midfielders even to move around you want them to alternate you want them to be unpredictable if you have it on organized they'll all stick to their positions they won't move around much and you won't create as many chances so by having it on free form you could have Griezmann moving into camp Bale into right striker Martial to left striker and them just moving around trying to find the best chances like the best positions and uh, it doesn't even matter about their position so free form is the best for that now for pressure I like to have this on 55. This is how high your team presses up the pitch, like how high, how high your defensive line is. Now we have this on 55 because it's quite a nice balance between not too deep and not too high. So, you know, they won't, they won't, they won't be like sitting in their own box, but they won't also be in your opponent's half. It's that nice balance where your centre backs can recover if a through ball is played. Um, it, it's just a nice balance, which is why I have it on 55. Now, aggression, I have this on 60. This increases like the amount of aggressive interceptions and that kind of thing, which your players will do. And quite a lot of the time, you can win the ball back in very nice areas. You know, it keeps your team nice and tight to the opponents. Um, so yeah, having this on 60, it allows you to get some nice interceptions in and start some counter attacks up. Um, I'm still a bit unsure on this value because Sometimes they will slide and they won't get the ball and it leaves you exposed at the back, but it's fine more like it's fine more than not. Um, but I'm thinking of lowering it, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, that's what we have for aggression. And for team width, because this is a narrow formation, you don't want this all the way up like to 80 or something because it defeats the whole point of a narrow formation. If you have team width on high, your team will probably be a wide formation. Like your players will be so spread out that there'll just be gaps in your like whole team. Uh, they could play a ball through. You, you know, you, you're screwed. And the same if you have it on one. You don't want to be so narrow that they can just run round you and shoot. Like you don't want to have a line of players. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I like to keep this on 40 because. It's nice and compact, but it also doesn't give them too much space down the wings. It's the nice balance like I was talking about earlier. Uh, so yeah, I like to have this on 40 because your players aren't too spread out. You don't leave too many gaps and it's quite effective defensively. Um, and for the defender line, I have this on cover. Never have it on offside trap. Because if you have it on offside trap, your players will sometimes run forward when a through ball is played to try and play your opponents offside. And quite a lot of the time, they don't manage to do it. And your opponent's just completely through and your defenders are out of the game. Like, you don't want to have that happening. So we prefer to have it on cover so they decide to cover the passes. You know, they, they just cover the passes instead of playing it risky uh, for the offside trap. So that's all of my settings for this formation. I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. If you found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up. Be sure to comment which video you want next down in the comments. I am working on the defending tutorial. I'm just going to finish my games. Uh, speaking of foot champions, for those interested, uh, we're currently 15 and 4, which isn't the greatest, but you know, it is what it is. You have better weekends. The delay's been a bit bad. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and yeah, I hope you have a really, really good day. I'll catch you all later.